Hello and welcome back! So, we've pretty much done the lower city apart from going to the backs. But before we go there, I want to. I think it's this way. Yeah, nope, the other way. I want to go to um, the lower city and talk to the refugees, Rukil. And let them know about the journals I found. God, this is a long way to run. I'm sure these blasted turrets out, ah, they probably work for this way if I attack, decide to attack the guard. Not something I would ever do, that's just foolish. Okay, so let's find Rukil. We ignore him. Um Genda oh, there he is, Rukil. Welcome back, Upworlder. How goes your quest? Have you found the journals of my father and grandfather? I have all three journals. Here, take them. Can it be true? Is it possible that at long last the dream of my father and grandfather before him will be fulfilled? I can hardly bear to look. Hmm. Yes. Yes, of course. Now I understand. It all makes sense. Now I see why the Promised Land has been so hard to find. It is so obvious. You have done a great thing, Upworlder. A selfless act that will bring great joy to all the people of this village. I must take this to Gendar right away. Frukil, what do you want now? Have you more fables of a hidden paradise just waiting for us to find it? You may not think these are fables after you see what I have brought you, Gendar. Look at these journals! What? No, it can't be. Are these real, Rukil? Is this information accurate? I swear to you, everything in these journals is true, Gendar. The Promised Land. I told you I would find it. The entrance is far from here, Rukil. It will take us weeks to get there, perhaps even months. And we will have to cross many Rakul infested areas. I do not deny the journey will be hard, Gendar. But surely it is better than the miserable life we have here. Wise words, Rukil. Our supplies are high right now. We could leave by nightfall. I will tell the others to prepare for the journey. Thank you once again, Upworlder. I will say a final goodbye. For where we are going, I fear you cannot come. The journey to the Promised Land is long and arduous. Goodbye, Rukil, and good luck. We must part ways here, Upworlder. I sense your destiny is yet to be chosen, but the destiny of my people is at the end of the long journey ahead of us. Now it's highly likely that Rukil is a force user, is a force adept. So, a force force adepts are people, and as you see now, the village is empty. Force adepts are people who um, have the force, can use it, but are never trained, are never found by the Jedi. Sometimes they are, they just have that bit of luck that is unexplained. They can get the dice, roll the dice, the right way. Never be on the wrong side of the law. Be very lucky in business deals. Things like that. It's norm it normally manifests itself in intuition. And that's the kind of thing that uh, Luke was looking for in the expanded universe after um, uh, the Return of the Jedi. When he looked to re-establish the Jedi Order. The force could never, the force could never really be suppressed by the dark side, or it could be, was it driven into hiding? 
people not willing to admit they have it. So let's talk to Gendar. You have returned. Gavin. You have the prototype swoop engine accelerator with you? Uh, I have the accelerator right here. I was beginning to wonder if you would make it. The race is tomorrow, and my mechanics need time to install the prototype into the swoop engine of our bike. Hmm. Okay, I lived up to my end of the bargain. Now you better come through. Don't worry. I'm a man of my word. I promised you could ride in the swoop race under the Hidden Beck banner, and I'm still going to let you do that. And I'm even going to go one better. I'm going to let you ride the swoop bike with the prototype accelerator installed on it. Without it, you won't stand a chance. <laughs> Gaden, you can't be serious. We need one of our best riders on that bike. We can't let some rookie take the prototype engine into the race. Oh, yes, you can. Why are you doing this, Ga um, Gavin? I have to be honest with you. There's a reason I'm letting you take the prototype engine. The accelerator isn't stable. There's a good chance it could explode during the race. I can't ask one of my own riders to take the risk. They'll be running unmodified swoops in the race. You'll be the only one using the prototype. If you can complete the track before the accelerator overheats, then you'll win for the Bex. If you die, then one of my other riders could still come through for me. Hmm. Sounds like you've got all your bases covered. You don't get to be leader of a swoop gang if you don't know how to work all the angles. Okay, I'm ready for the race. You can stay here tonight. The mechanics need time to install the accelerator on the engine, so you won't be able to practice your riding. But I've got good instincts. And you have the look of a racer about you. Just try to relax, and in the morning we'll take you to the swoop track. Okay, yeah, funny enough, this, they, the swoop bikes look a lot like pod racers from um, Phantom Menace. And apparently own, uh, humans can't normally do swoop um, pod racing, uh, but they can do it lots, uh, they can do sw um, swoop <laughs> racing. <laughs> Bloody hope so. Um, sure. Tell me how it's done. She appears to win. She endured it out. And Rashi good. And she behind Gorukia. Okay, I won't let you down. Ten forty four of one, 
He appears to see in full detail when the Rashi goat and he behind Golubia when I for the Tufta. That's very reassuring of him. Okay, let's get going here. Oh, check out who it is. It's Bastila. Can't talk to her, unfortunately. These are some of the um, riders, some backs, some Volkers. That's pretty much it, though. I, I, there's supposed to be other gangs around. <laughs> Is it me, or do all the aliens in this game look like the heads have been stuck together, kind of like, like, you know, like those models that <laughs> you get in silicon moulds, and you you do two halves, and then you stick them together, and so so you've got this line. That's what they look like. They look like toys. Anyway, <laughs> I want to race one of my heats. Sorry, little digress, Radley. <laughs> Okay, now, don't really, uh, left mouse click, so I to use the right, okay. Yeah, come on, thank you. Oh, hang on. Yes, left mouse click is not the accelerator, left mouse, left mouse click. That would be spacebar is the accelerator. Thank you for misleading information on the screen there. Twenty nine, that's not too bad. Okay, when I said it wasn't too bad, I didn't realize it was going to be the top time straight out. Come on, stop talking. Alienese in this game takes way too long to say. <laughs> Uh, right, so let's get, try and get this time. As far as I know, you can't actually not come out with the top time in this. It's physically impossible, because otherwise you'd be here all day. It's just, as far as I know, it's impossible not to come out in the top time. Um, later on, we'll be doing more soup bite races, and then it's actually more fair. So anyway, let's get on with this. <laughs> Yeah, we know we've already lost. Um, what's the time to beat? Um, 29.45. Pretty sure it'd be that. Okay, I want to race one of my heats. Better start off the line. Trying to get as many accelerator pads as I possibly can, right? Now. 
Oh yeah, twenty-eight forty-four. Top time. To be honest. You mean? People, hear me! Before I present the so-called champion of the Bex with their prize, there is something you must know. The winning rider cheated! Hmm... You better not tr be trying to cheat me, Brezhek. Your swoop bike was using a prototype accelerator. Clearly an unfair advantage. Because of this hidden Beck treachery, I'm withdrawing the Vulcan's share of the victory prize. Jawana bota ayu at tahunga chakanki dora kachi kui tahodonga topa da bung walia gando do na no chut chut muksha papunpa bola wana chikne ba muli slemo bola wanga kun bes muli ra ra bes. You old fool! Your traditions are nothing to me. I am the wave of the future. If I want to withdraw the prize and sell this woman on the slave market myself, nobody can stop me. I might have something to say about that, Brezhik. <coughs> what? Impossible. You were restrained by a neural disruptor. How could you have possibly summoned the will to free yourself? You underestimate the strength of a Jedi's mind, Brezhik. A mistake you won't live to regret. Vulcus, to me! Kill this woman! Kill the swoop rider! Kill them all! Okay! Again, this always happens. There's nothing you could do to prevent this. You are destined to. Oh, hello, I know you forgot about Bradrick then. Let's just get a med pack into me while they're on the Rapidia side. Um. Ooh, there we go. Come on. Um, right, let's just go with. I seem to be failing outright at um, hitting him with my vibro blade, so let's just try that. Uh, uh. God, I hope I don't have to do all that bit again. Where's the auto save? Please tell me it's. Oh, balls. Right, I'm gonna leave this video there. In the next video, I will redo all the swoop bike section again. Snazzle, frazzle, snazzle, frazzle, snazzle, frazzle. Total for now, see you soon.